Are you moving to 29 Palms? Well, don't pack your bags just yet because I'm going to give you 13 things you should probably know before you start packing those bags. I'm Jessica Thiel with Coldwell Banker Roadrunner, and today we are going to talk about everything high desert living in 29 Palms, California. In this video, I'm gonna go over the 13 reasons that you may want to think about before you actually move to 29 Palms. Question number one, is the traffic really that bad? No, it's not that bad, but yes, Highway 62, which runs from 29 to the 10 freeway, it can get a little congested on the weekends and around 5 p.m. in downtown Joshua Tree and Yucca Valley. Question number two, is it expensive to live here? In regards to home prices, no, it's actually very affordable, but yes, you may be spending just a little more on gas in 29 Palms, so you can drive to other amenities. Question number three, is it really that hot? Yes, it does get very warm and it can be in the hundreds, but on average in July and August, it's 90 degrees. Is there some great spots to eat in 29? Yes, there is. One of my favorites to stop and grab a bite to eat is the Campbell Hill Bakery. And also, Kitchen in the Desert is a great place to sit down for a meal. Another thing you should know about 29 Palms is that we absolutely love our military. Here, there is a Marine Corps Air Ground Combat Center. This is home to thousands of military families who find that life is fine in 29. And there's a new fun facility in 29 Palms that you have to know about. The Joshua Tree National Parks Cultural Center is now open in downtown 29 Palms. At the Cultural Center, you will see the newest exhibit about the Keys Ranch. This tells the story of the park's role in the preservation of cultural resources. What are some of the best things about 29 Palms? It is the gateway to the Mojave Desert, Joshua Tree National Park, the Mojave National Preserve, and the Great California Outback. There's so much history, culture, and of course the lustrous starlit skies, breathtaking sunsets, and sunrises. Something to get used to when living in 29 Palms is that you are no longer living in a rat race and you have a very strong sense of community here and you just take a slower pace in life. In 29 Palms, yes, it is hot and other seasons it's windy. So I would say that would be maybe one of the downfalls. If you do love four seasons, you're not going to experience that here in this area. Is there shopping? Yes, there is. And one of my favorite places, High Desert Daydream, hands down the best boutique in town. You can find clothes, coffee, souvenirs, you name it, they have it. Another thing you may want to think about before purchasing a home or relocating here is that some of the older homes have what you call a swamp cooler. This is a more cost-effective source of cooling, but it doesn't get as cool if you like it ice cold, like central heating and cooling. If you're looking to retire in 29, there are some great neighborhoods for retirees, but the average age is a middle-aged individual who lives here, so something to think about. And lastly, because you can get a lot more bang for your buck here in regards to purchasing a home, I do believe that 29 Palms is going to grow. It is going to be one of the next hot spots, so if that's not something you're looking for, then definitely keep that in mind. I hope this video gave you some insight on some things to think about before moving to 29 Palms. 29 Palms will continue to grow, but at the current moment, there are a lot of options when looking for a place to live. Thanks for watching another episode of JT Vibes. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and check out more of my videos about moving to 29 Palms. Thanks for watching. I'm Jessica Thiel with Coldwell Banker Roadrunner.